response. Hmm. Then again, I might not have calibrated it correctly. Oh, boy, kidding. Of course I did. Oh, my machine works! Greetings! I am Lisa Loud. What is your name? Oh. <laughs> of course. Todd, will you translate for us? I knew programming you with over one million dialects would come in handy. <laughs> she said her name is Frances. You know, I was just about to say that she looks like a Frances. <laughs> Fascinating. Apparently, people of the Paleolithic era were already familiar with the concept of fire. <laughs> the extinct dodo bird. <laughs> I'm sure we can find another one. <laughs> Francis says that Chork's work is overrated. She finds his pieces on water buffalo derivative. Hmm, interesting. Evidently, they also had an advanced system of art criticism. Uh, where did she go? <gasps> Maybe this was a bad idea. Can we refreeze her? Incredible! Their tool making is more advanced than we knew! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smooth as butter! They'd already invented the wheel! Remarkable! I don't know what Dr. Alvarez was so worried about. This is the breakthrough of the century! No need for alarm, Francis. It's not real. It's just a model. Fascinating. She seems to derive comfort from synthetic cheese snacks. We have to bring her back before Dr. Alvarez finds out she's missing. Come on! You're gonna stand there like a Neanderthal? So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Mr. Grouse, have you by chance seen a prehistoric woman from the Paleolithic era nearby? Eh, your hairy friend went that way. And let her know she's gonna pay for all this. Francis is in here somewhere. Be on alert, Todd. She's probably scared and confused. <laughs> High score. High <laughs> score. <laughs> Remind me to teach her how to operate a door. What the foot long hoagie's going on in here? Can a guy tubby in peace? <sighs> Oh, snap. Frances thinks Flip is her old cave neighbor who stole her woolly mammoth. Oh, I don't foresee this ending well. <laughs> Francis, listen. Despite his prehistoric features, Flip isn't a Neanderthal. Oh, gee, thanks, Brainy Loud. Here's an idea. Instead of name calling, why don't you find a way to help me? This is way hard. How are we supposed to know what kind of songs toddlers rock to? I like my trike, my itty bitty bike. Watch me ride through the grass. Try to follow me all around the tree. I'll 
you thinking what I'm thinking, Moon Goats? Yeah, I want to ride that trike too. I'm not good at this game. I like my trike, my itty bitty bike. Watch me ride through the grass. Try to follow me all around the tree. I hope I don't go too fast. Dudes, we nailed it! Another song! Oh, sorry, little guy, but we've only got... It's my birthday, and I want another song! <gasps> song, 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 Oh, hey, look, there's Barney in the backyard with candy and, uh, puppies. <gasps> yeah! Puppies! Let's move! Graduating beginners jazz tap dance. Tap tap tap. Ta <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. Award-winning new celebrity coming through. Nice to meet you. I'm Catherine Mulligan. Yes, I'm here with my niece Adeline Mulligan. And I have to say, your band is really a toddler sensation. I'd love to have you perform on my morning show, Cat Chat. Start the day with a hot steaming cup of Catherine. A gig on TV? For real? Absolutely. And Catherine Mulligan pays a generous appearance fee. So, what do you say? Uh, let me discuss with my uh, associates. Guys, we could get those thumping speakers, like, way faster! Yeah! And probably still have some money left for that awesome stage package we saw, remember? Oh, so many pretty colors. We're, We're in. in! Great! Let's say tomorrow morning. Oh, and one thing. I want you to play a new song. Catherine Mulligan likes her performances the way she likes her breaking news. Exclusive! Now, I have to go. My niece has seemingly escaped. Adeline Mulligan, do not lick that cake! The new speakers, here we come! <whistles> Lily, where are you, baby sis? Mr. Coconuts, can I close it now? It's been like an hour. Chill out, doll. I'm not done with my moolah bath. Hey, uh, do you know where Lily is? She's gone. Like, to the bathroom? Gone as in Splitsville. Hit the road. Flew the coop. Mom and Dad took her with them to Aunt Ruth's cabin. It's time for the old broad's yearly callus scraping. And believe me, it takes a team. Oh, uh, please say they'll be back soon. They'll be back soon. <sighs> there, I said it. But they won't. They're gone all weekend. Those calluses gotta be eight layers thick by now. Ooh. No! Without Lily, we've got no song for tomorrow morning. Our big TV debut is gonna be a big bust. We gotta think of something. <gasps> I swear, if this is gas again. No, 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 no. I just realized Lily's not the only baby in the sea. <gasps> yes, yes! All we gotta do is snag a tune from another toddler. Sully, you're a total genius! Told you it wasn't gas. <laughs> Okay, some of it was gas. <laughs> okay, how about a tune, little dudes? Uh -oh. Give us back our toys! <laughs> All aboard. Hey, kids, how about a little choo choo song? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Choo-choo-choo-choo! <laughs> Lola, sweetie, it seems like your sweet tooth is getting out of hand. Maybe it's time to take a little break from treats. A break from treats? <laughs> Please, it's not like I have a problem. 
You're eating a lollipop right now. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Who put that there? You know, it's good to set healthy goals. How about this? If you give up treats for a whole week, I'll buy you this pageant dress you've been eyeing. Seriously? Just for giving up treats? You got a deal. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Minus the cake, of course. <laughs> Great. Then I'll just hold on to these for now. Oh, you're taking them all right now? Oh, great! Fabulous! Wait, um, can I just have a moment alone with the salted caramel truffles? They're my absolute favorite. Of course. Goodbye, my sweet little friends! Okay, take them away! Ugh. Here you are, girls. Oh, morning, Lola. Morning, Daddy. I'll have the French toast today and make it extra Frenchy. <laughs> One French toast coming up. Remember, sweetie, hold the syrup. Oh, right. I'll just have pancakes a la mode then. Um, that means covered in ice cream. Fine. Give me cereal. Candy in a bowl. What am I supposed to eat? Air? There are a lot of things. How about a nice bowl of oatmeal with fruit? Okay, I can work with that. Oh, yeah, baby. Time to carb load before the big game. Huh? You're either with me or against me, Lynn. All right, breakfast on the floor. You guys finally listen to me. <laughs> oh, the little Miss Motor Oil pageant is on. This should keep my mind off treats. Wake up your taste buds with extreme fruity sour blasters. It's like a party in your mouth. <laughs> Let's see what else is on, shall we? Handcrafted by master chocolatiers. Our truffles are irresistibly <laughs> smooth, irresistibly rich, and just plain irresistible. Oh, Lola, honey, you look like you could use a little help. Oh, why don't you try this? Every time you're tempted to have sweets, just have a stick of celery instead. Celery? Well, I always like the crunch. This shouldn't be so bad. Some rose hip tea to go with your celery, Mr. Sprinkles? Oh, good. My Jack Sweet Chocolates of the Month are here. Ooh, those caramel macadamia chocolates are my favorite. Whoa! You're either with me or against me, Mr. Grouse. Now beat it, delivery boy, unless you want some of this too, huh? Huh? Uh, 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 no, wait, my chocolates! Who needs treats when you have the open road, fresh air, and no temptations? Huh? The sweet, sweet music of the ice cream truck? Not today! Happy Friday, Lola. Oh, I'm so impressed with how well you've been doing. I know, right? Get your wallet ready, because in a few hours, that pageant dress is mine. <laughs> I packed you some more celery for the road. No, thanks. We have a school field trip today. Those are always fun and distracting. Wherever we go, I shouldn't have any problems keeping my mind off treats. <laughs> Tomorrow is the anniversary of my tragic arrival on this earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My ninth birthday. 
My condolences. How dreadful. Oh, why must normie society insist on celebrating life? I'm afraid my birthdays are even worse than a typical normie celebration. Every year, my family subjects me to the same traditions. Yawn. They start the day at a frightening pitch. Happy birthday, Lucy! <laughs> then they force me to wear the traditional loud birthday sash. I suspect it's never been washed. Hey, it's my booger from my third birthday! <laughs> then I'll be subjected to the dreaded bouncy castle. A family birthday staple ever since my dad got it on clearance. See, Rita, I told you we'd get our money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> then there's the singing. Oh, the singing. Happy birthday to you! Sigh. Finally, the torture ends. Now in French, les dudes! Bon anniversaire à toi! Bon anniversaire à toi! Bon anniversaire à toi! I wish my family would just forget about my birthday. Perhaps I can make your wish come true. Let's see. Bilingual spell? Binding spell? Ah, here we are. Birthday be gone spell. In order for this spell to work, you must gather your loved ones before the sun sets on the eve of your birthday. Gasp. It's almost sunset. I'll have to work fast. Dinner, everybody! <laughs> oh, where's the ding-dang table? And where are the ding-dang chairs? Ahem. Please, follow me. Hello. I've literally been waiting here for 20 minutes. Oh, hey, honey. Lucy, what is this all about? Well, with my birthday on the horizon, I thought we could celebrate early with a sunset dinner and, um, poetry slam. I'm in. I love a good slam. Ugh. Unnecessary. If you'll please take your seats, I'm eager for you all to hear my poem. Wink. Ahem. Gathered neath a setting sun. Wait. Where's Lenny? <laughs> no, Gavin, you hang up first. No, you! No, you! No, you! <laughs> oh no, Gavin can't swim! Gavin, hold your breath! Now, where were we? Gathered neath the setting sun. Wait, where's Lisa? Lucy, it's far too chilly outside for alfresco dining. But once I get this weather modulator working, I can alter tonight's temp to a comfortable 72 degrees. Mm, that works too. Okay, now if there are no more interruptions. The Dickens. <laughs> Get off me, you flying fiend! Gathered neath the setting sun, this past year is almost done. My birthdays come, my birthdays go. At sunrise, you'll never know. <clears throat> Great poem, sweetie. Very abstract. Yeah, I was moved in junk. Can we eat now? Patience, Fangs. Bertrand said we won't know whether the spell worked until sunrise. Mm. Good casserole, Dad. Carpet hair garnish was a nice touch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No screaming siblings. No noisemakers. Could it be? Lola. Tell me, is today special for any reason? <gasps> Lucy, I almost forgot! Today is my weekly mani-pedi. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me! Yes, the spell worked. This is cause for celebration, if we were the celebrating type. Ha <laughs> ha. Good morning, Out of my way! I'm late for a moon girl rehearsal! 
toodles. I have a date with Gavin. Sure, I'm always available for a last minute giggling geezer set. I'll be right over. Ah, <sighs> ignored per usual. Perfect. So here's our route. Jessie's got a strict schedule of places for us to visit, so we need to leave tomorrow morning. First stop, Niagara Falls. <laughs> we'll be there for the annual barrel race. Competitors go down the falls in wooden barrels. <sighs> no, Lynn, you're not joining them. Oh, boo! Major foul! <laughs> yep, replace side of seat. <laughs> and main water line. <gasps> Look! We'll be going right by Dr. Weirdly's Bazaaratorium. It's a roadside oddities museum. I could tell you how super awesome it is, but I'll let Dr. Weirdly himself do the talking. Oh, I'm Dr. Weirdly, and welcome to my Bazaaratorium. Here, you'll find curios that are odd and peculiar. Be amazed by the three-legged dancing rooster. <laughs> Marvel at the Martian mermaid. Behold the mystic mummy of mystery and its royal ring of royalty. So odd, so peculiar. So patently false. Can we stop by the Bazaaratorium on our way? Please, 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 please. I don't know, sweetie. Jesse made it clear that I cannot miss that barrel race. I'm not gonna lie, hon. The dancing rooster has some real talent. Okay, we can stop, but only if we have extra time. Yes! Woohoo! Woohoo! Hey! Oh, I think I threw my back out, but this is still the best day of my life. Yay! Oh! Yay! Oh. <laughs> if I want to be able to stop at the Bazaaratorium, I have to make sure we end up with lots of extra time. Phase one, Operation Turn the Clocks Forward. This calls for some David Steele stealth action. Mine, Lindsay. Keep your greasy runner up mitts off. <laughs> Rita, stop. Now to get us on the road. Phase two, Operation Move It or Lose It. Is it just me, or did it literally feel like a short night? Beats me. I was having dreams about a clumsy white-haired ninja. Attention! Yeah. The Loud Summer Express yeah. leaves in T-minus nine minutes. Hey! Never yell while I'm doing my makeup! You're just lucky I look fabulous no matter what. Mm. Yeah. T minus seven minutes. Oh, sorry, Dad. Coffee hot. Coffee hot. <laughs> I loaded all the breakfast stuff in the RV so you can cook on the road. <laughs> Still very hot. Before we depart, Lana and I want to announce we've made several RV upgrades we think you'll enjoy. We give you... <laughs> Camperzilla! Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Whoa. Whoa! It's a mini house on wheels. So cool. Whoa! 
can check out the toilet. I had a triple vortex suction power. Ooh. Ah! Huh? be my VIP tour. Mm. Well, it looks like we'll be skipping the bowling alley, Sunday room, dress room, and the White House kitchen. What? That's no fair! I can't risk anything getting broken because of an unruly group of tourists. Hey, why do you get to decide what we see, pal? You're not the president. Bosley Bullsworth's the name, and I am the president. <gasps> what? what now? Of the White House Tour Guide Association. I'm known as the Bulldog. Um, why do they call you the Bulldog? Ah, <laughs> uh, now it makes sense. Uh, I expect you all to be on your best behavior. Today is the president's birthday, and I won't have you ruffians ruining it. <gasps> Ooh, can we sing to him? Yeah, that sounds like ruining it to me. There will be no singing, no wandering off, and no touching anything. Do not test the Bulldog. I would hate to have to put you all in the White House dungeon. <gasps> <laughs> Just kidding. I would love to put you all in the White House dungeon. Now follow me. Hi. Uh, there's not really like a, you know, a dungeon here, right? There is. In fact, a month ago, a guy taking a tour turned on a light without permission. He spent a week down there. <gasps> <gasps> I don't see you behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Bulldog, sir, but this is the seventh hallway you've shown us. Can we see something more exciting? All right, I suppose I can show you one room. The bowling alley? The Sunday bar? dress room? The White House Library. Uh, sorry, but that is way better than a Sunday bar. <gasps> the White House bowling alley? Oh, man, it's right here. Go on and take a peek. We'll cover for you. Woohoo! Whoa! Yes! And that's the Presidential Library. Any questions? Oh, yes. Can the President pardon himself so he doesn't have to pay late book fees? Oh, hilarious. All right, now let's make sure we haven't lost anyone. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Hold on! Are we missing someone? Sorry, just tying my shoe. Oh, all right. Now, because you surprised me by behaving in the library, I'm gonna show you another exciting place. Uh, I'm awake! The White House Laundry Room. Uh. Oh, I bet it was President Washington's favorite. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pretend that I didn't hear that. All right, follow me. <gasps> White House Sunday room. <laughs> Go live your best life, dude. We got your back. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> That's why Fluffenfold was added to the Constitution. Now, let's make sure that we're all still here. <gasps> Wait a minute, someone seems to be missing. Uh, sorry, just uh, tying my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now I have a real treat for you. The office supply closet. Uh. Ooh, I bet that's a real staple of the White House. <laughs> oh. Wow, tough crowd. <gasps> Lola, this is the room with the First Lady's dresses. Go, we'll cover you. <gasps> Ooh la la, très chic. First Lady's dress for President's birthday party tonight. Well, I don't think she'd mind. Hello, it is I, Lola Loud, your beloved First Lady. Nah, forget that. Your President! Hmm. I'm just tying my shoe. Uh, an awful lot of loose laces today. All right, moving along. Time to visit the White House recycling room. I bet that room. No. 
And that concludes our tour. I'm surprised. I expected you to be trouble, but you were all well behaved. Uh, too bad for me. I didn't get to let the dog out. <laughs> all right, please make your way to the White House exit. That is one strange little man. Here we are, kiddos. The Southwest State Fair. Yeehaw! <laughs> Oh, hon, there's a spot. Ah, perfect. Like a glove. Now, who's... Uh-oh. Trapped with no way out. Incorrect. Ah, huh, good thinking, Lisa. I want to get there. Hurry up. Yeah, go, 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 go. Oh, oh man, this is so exciting. Yeah, it was so easy. Oh, Wait, is that? Can you show you? Huh? Rita? Is that you? <gasps> Brad Plaid! Ah, uh, diggity, it is you. And I thought these glasses were monkeying with me. What's a Michiganer like you doing here? I'm actually writing a column about life on the road with a big family. No kidding. So you became a writer after all. I always knew you would. Hey, honey. Howdy, sir. Would you like an autograph? <laughs> this is my husband, Lynn. Everyone, this is Brad. He and I knew each other from Camp Can Do when we were kids. <laughs> we were practically hog tied out the hip. In fact, we were each other's camp crushes, <laughs> if I remember right. <laughs> How adorable. So, Brad, my man, what's with the crowd? You, like, famous or something? Well, I'm somewhat of a country singer. <laughs> I'm on tour cross country with my horse. <laughs> they call me the crooning cowboy. That's so cool. Okay, great, but we better get going. Lots to see and do. Just me and my family, and Rita, who is my wife. <laughs> Say, y'all should check out my show after the rodeo tonight. How do front row seats sound? Yeah! <laughs> so cool! That is so sweet of you, Brad. Yes, yes, so, so sweet. Oh, I just remembered. We're a sing-along kind of family at concerts, and we don't know any of your songs. Guess we'll have to pass. Well, thanks anyway. <laughs> Take my greatest hits album. Y'all will catch up in no time. Now, you kids are going to love the fair. I'll be your personal guide. Let's head them up and move them out. Hmm. <sighs> Rita around the world? All I need is Rita? Rita likes Peta? <gasps> All his songs are about Rita. Brad is obviously obsessed with her. And it looks like he's trying to rekindle his camp can-do flame. Well, not on my watch, Buster. Now you think you're such a big man? Well, you're not so big. A big <gasps> red plan? How did he all? Oh, come on! Yay! Oh. So cool! <laughs> Look at those unicorns! Eunice has been begging for a baby brother. Well, I'd be happy to. Yeah, I got it, Bryson. Ah! Hands are a little sweaty. You know, just from the heat. I'm not nervous or intimidated in any way. Ah! Mm -hmm. just, ah! Ah! Ow! Sorry. <sighs> ah! We have a winner. <sighs> Woo! We'll take the unicorn, please. Sorry, sir, but that prize is for knocking down the whole pyramid. Allow me, partner. are natural boot scooters, Rita. Bet they learned it from you. Speaking of, care to dance? Sorry, maybe next song, Brody. Are you feeling okay, hon? Because you've been acting a little... Charming, debonair. Like someone who isn't crumbling on the inside. Old Tootsie's got you now. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Time for another flying chicken wing! No, no, no! no. Woo!
This is so fun. Brad's so cool. Can I get boots like Brad's? <gasps> Barbecue cook-off. Hey, Brent, what do you say we put our grill skills to the test? Sounds like fun, partner. <laughs> Excuse me. Look, this is where they filmed the Dakota Rona movies. Oh, she's a young girl, archaeologist with a real flair for adventure and style. I just gotta take one little peek. What am I gonna do? We start the movie tomorrow, and I don't have an actress to play Dakota Rhoda. No Dakota, no movie. <gasps> what happened to the last one? She turned 42. Oh, this is my chance to be a star in a real life movie. Oh. Did you just enter with your own fanfare? Also, who are you? Lola Loud, your new star. My card. Lola Loud, your new star. Never heard of you. Sorry, Nora Nussbaum does not work with nobodies. That's right. I need someone with buzz. Ugh, flies are more my sister Lana's thing, but... <laughs> no. I mean, buzz. That name everybody's talking about. I only hire actors with buzz, hon. It's a buzz kind of biz. <sighs> oh, you better believe I'll get the buzz, babe. Okay, everybody, listen up. If I can make this director think that everybody's talking about me, I'll be the next Dakota Rhoda! But everybody already talks about you, Lola. <laughs> I think she means in a good way. Are you sure you want to do this, sweetie? Stardom can be a lot. She's right, kiddo. You know, being with the doodads has taught me two things. All cowbell solos should be under 20 minutes, and being a star isn't always what you expect it'll be. <laughs> Please. I've been dreaming of this my whole life. Lola, please! Sign my baby! Lola, 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 Lola. Lola. <laughs> Make sure you get my good side. JK, I only have good sides. <laughs> Am I right? Lola! Uh, whoopsie. Sorry, Lori. Uh, in my defense, your face does feel like wet cement. You could use some toner. Uh, get off me. What do you mean you don't have a big Hollywood director discount? I never pay full price for songs. I your biggest fan. <laughs> oh, there she is! Back it up. Lola Lau deserves some stinking space. You people are vultures. <laughs> Next on our Lola Loud sightseeing tour, the smoothie shop, where rumor has it Lola Loud often visits. Look, it's her! Ooh. It's Lola Loud! What are the ding dang odds? <laughs> Thanks, guys, but no more pictures today. Uh, okay, fine. Just ten more. But don't you understand? I have to have Lola Loud in my next movie. It's gotta be Lola. Hey, Gads, how do you expect me to make a film without Lola Loud? My directing career will perish, pass away, cease to exist. Babe. Lola, you've got to say yes. Come on, doll. We don't want anybody but you in our latest talkie. Please, please, please. You have to be in my film. I beseech thee, be in my film. Ignore those losers, toots. You and I will make motion picture history. You're all out of luck because she's going to star in my film. Lola, you've got more buzz than a beehive. Will you be the new Dakota Rhoda? Say you'll do it. Mm, I don't know. I need some time to think about it. Done! Where do I sign? Hello! Your star has arrived! <laughs> Nora Angel, I'm thinking I'll start with a deep tissue massage in my trailer, and that should take us through to lunch. I'll have sushi and a mango sparkling water, heavy on the sparkle, mm, like kisses. There's no time for any of that. You're filming your stunts today. Oh, isn't there somebody who does that, darling? <laughs> what are they called? Oh, oh yeah, that's right, a, a stunt person. Sorry, hun. Dakota Rhodas perform their own stunts. But relax, it'll be a breeze. <laughs> You're gonna run, grab the vine, swing across the mud, and land on the other side. Any questions? Just one. Still no on the sushi. Okay, people, on your marks, and action! <laughs> Cut. 
That was perfect, Lola Hun. Okay, everybody, back in five to film Lola's fire eating scene. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> Chandler? You know that young man? That's Chandler McKinn. He's a bad apple. Uh oh, they're coming over. Hey, McBride. Looks like we're facing off in the dance final. This is my grandma. Hi there, Grand McCann. Hi, Nana Gale. No! She probably has a joy buzzer or an ink squirter or maybe even a finger trap. Nope, just arthritis. <laughs> oh, I understand why you don't trust me. I know about my grandson's reputation, but I told Chandler that I won't tolerate any funny business during this competition. Yeah, chill out, McBride. I'm always on my best behavior when I'm with my gran. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> What do you say, Clyde? Fair and square. May the best team win? Hmm. Deal. Welcome to the finals of the Royal Woods Grandmother Grandson Dance Competition. Here's your host and judge, Mrs. Bernardo. Thank you. It's an honor to be hosting the dance finals. The rules of the competition are simple. There are two rounds. Today, our finalists will dance the tango, the jitterbug, and the Irish clog dance. And tomorrow, they'll return to perform the final dance, the waltz. Now, for the first dance today, the tango. Wow, Chandler and Graham McCann are good dancers. They may be, but I have a secret weapon for us. Mint tea, it really boosts the energy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, very good. Spotlight back on me, please. <clears throat> I award you a perfect ten. <laughs> now, please welcome to the stage Nana Gale and Clyde McBride. <laughs> Uh, the makeup table stopped us. I'm sorry to say your score is a zero. Oh, wait. It wasn't their fault, Your Honor. There's clearly a puddle of oil right here. You should let them start over. Wait, you're helping us? Oh, as much as we love to see good sportsmanship like this, there are no do-overs. And on to the second dance, the Jitterbug. <laughs> Another stunning performance. Ahem. And my score is another perfect 10. Woo! Now, please welcome back the McBrides. <laughs> We're OK. The audience broke our fall. Well, that looks terribly painful. Also painful, your score. Zero. But Mrs. Bernardo, just look at these loose floorboards. Clearly the McBrides deserve another chance. So sorry, rules are rules. And now, on to the final dance of the day, the Irish clog dance. <laughs> McCann's. My score, see it with me, everyone. A perfect ten! Please help me welcome back Clyde and Nana Gale! Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We're okay. The janitor's bucket of dirty mop water broke our fall. <clears throat> tisk, tisk, tisk. <gasps> I think that's a leftover smudge of balsamic from my salad. Mmm, delicious. Aww. That doesn't seem fair since there was an open trap door on the stage. 
fair would be me getting paid double for being MC and judge, don't you think? But fear not, the McBrides can still make a comeback tomorrow. Ah, today was a disaster. Talk about a streak of bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Those McBrides are real McBozos. They totally fell for that crud about us not cheating. And now all we have to do is sabotage them again tomorrow, and those massage chairs are all ours. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you can take over lead vocals, and I'm sure we can find a temporary musician to replace me. We'll just have to hold auditions ASAP. Nickel. Aw, oh, you guys. I hate to interrupt when you're in the zone, but as a fellow guitarist, I had to introduce myself. I'm Luna Loud, lead singer and guitarist of the Moon Goats. I saw your last show. You were all... <laughs> well, I don't know if I did that. I'm Nina. As you can see, I'm, I'm sort of out of commission. And the Moon Goats are supposed to play the Cherry Pit Spit this weekend. We're looking for a temporary guitarist. You should totally audition. <gasps> yes, count me in. You hear that, my peeps? I might finally be in a band. Hey, I heard the Moon Goats landed the Cherry Pit Spit. But how's the band going to play without you? Actually, I found the perfect understudy at the park today. She's insanely good. Hmm. What is it? Yeah, it's just risky to hand your band your replacement. So true. You see, Ponytail here was once cast as the lead insomniac in the school production of Little Shop of Snorers. One day she was rehearsing and her voice just gave out. Suddenly sleep more! <sighs> <sighs> they had to find a temporary understudy. <laughs> The new girl had such stage presence, Mrs. B decided to replace Luann permanently. No, oh, I don't want Nina to replace me. Then you can't let the Moon Goats hear her play. But I already told her about the audition. She was so stoked. There's no way she doesn't show. Hmm. Leave that to us, doll. We'll make sure Nina strummed her last chords. Oh, whoa there. <laughs> just mean we'll make sure she doesn't make the audition. Yeah, that's what we mean. <laughs> this is my stop. Wait, uh, never mind. Wait, this is my stop. Oh, nope, not this one either. Wait, oops, silly me. I guess it must be the next one. Mm. I can't wait to try out. Cool, someone here's gotta be good enough to replace me. Okay, let's see what you got. <laughs> Maybe this is my stop. Oh, wrong again. <laughs> uh, I'm getting off. I'm never going to make it in time. Uh, just my luck. Okay, back on track. <sighs> We've been here for hours, and no one has been close to good enough. Is there anyone else out there? Let me take a look. <sighs> but wait! Uh, auditions are over. Uh. We found the perfect replacement! Let's pack it in, people! But he has...
hasn't even played yet. <laughs> hasn't played yet. Guys, don't you know who this is? No. He's the one, the only. Joey. Joey, musical prodigy and rock god. He, he is? is? I am. You can't ask someone of Joey's caliber to audition. It's insulting. Besides, a tuba player will really set us apart. Uh, okay, if you say so. Welcome to the band, Rock God. Awesome. I didn't even think I had a chance of... <laughs> so modest. Okay, dude, meet me at my garage tomorrow, and I'll teach you everything you need to know for the gig. Sweet! Sorry, I guess I haven't emptied my spit valve in a while. <laughs>